In this video, we'll be going over search and rotate a sorted array. So you're given an, an integer array num sorted in ascending order with distinct values and an integer target. Suppose that nums is rotated at some pivot unknown to you beforehand. So 0 to 7 might be 4 to 7 and then 0, 1, 2. So basically rotate it around this point. So if target is found in the array, return its index, otherwise return negative 1. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2, and our target is equal to 0. And our target is at index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, at index 4. So return 4. So let's first go do the dot process. Let's first go over the brute force approach. So the brute force approach will be to perform a single iteration through the input array. This approach will cost us all of n time complexity because we visit each element at most once. So in order to, opt, uh, in order to find an optimized approach, we have to know that, that the input array is sorted but rotated. So when searching inside a sorted array, we can perform a binary search, which is the most optimized approach. But how can we perform binary search on a rotated sorted array though? So for each of the mid index, so the current index at the mid, we can find information on our left and right side by checking the boundaries. So, so imagine we have, if we have left and right boundaries that we are currently searching through. If nums left is less than or equal to nums mid, this tells us that the left side is sorted in ascending order. This means the left side is sorted in ascending order. So for example, we're currently at seven, and if our left boundary is equal to four, then we know uh, if four is less than seven, then we know this whole part is sorted in ascending order. Then if target is in between this, these two numbers, we can search through the range. We can search from left to mid, of course. Then, if the left side is not sorted, uh, is not less than or equal to nums mid, that means the right side is in ascending order. Then else, then we know the right side is in ascending order. We can search the right side if the if the input target is is in between nums mid and nums right and nums right. Yes. If target is in between now let's go over pseudocode so we're going to create our current two boundaries so create two variables left to current left boundary so initially zero and then right to current right boundary initially at the end of the array, so nums.length minus one. Then while left is less than right, less than or equal to right, that means there's still elements in our range. Then we can calculate the mid index. So calculate mid. So mid is good to left plus right minus left divided by two. Now, if the if nums mid is equal to target, that means we have found the elements that we want. Then we can just return as index mid. Then now we're going to perform our binary search. If nums left is less than or equal to nums mid, that means the left side is sorted and the target is now oh not and so after we get into the loop, I'm going to say or the condition. If target is in between nums mid, uh, nums left and nums mid, that means we can search leftward. Then we're gonna set right to mid minus one. We're searching leftward, else we will just search right. Set left to mid plus one. Else this means the right side is sorted. So if target is in between nums mid and nums right, that means we can search rightward. So we're going to set left 
to mid plus one. Else we're always going to search left for it. So it says right to mid minus one. After our loop, and if we still fail to find the target, we're going to return negative one. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is O of log n, where n is the length of input array. This is performed by a binary search, and then our space complexity is equal to O of 1. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create our two variables to be our boundaries, left and right boundaries. Then while left is less than equal to right, that means we still have elements inside our range, calculate the mid-index. Right minus left, divided by 2, and then if the current element is equal to target, then we can just return the index. So we're going to return mid, and then if nums left is less than or equal to nums mid, that means the left side is sorted. So if target is greater than or equal to nums left, and target is less than nums mid, that means well the target is inside the, is within the range of the, of the left side. So we have to search the left side. Then we can do right is go to mid to minus one. Else, if it's not it's not within the range, we can just search to the right. Left equals to mid plus one. Else, the right side is sorted. So if target is within the range of is greater than or equal to nums dot mid and less than or equal to the right boundary nums right, then we can search the right side. So it's going to left left equals to mid plus one. Else, we're going to search uh, the left side. Right equals to mid minus one. Then we can't return negative one if we have failed to find the target element. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day, and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.